Congress cities changed over the last two, three decades in a multitude of different ways, uh, both demographically, uh, socioeconomically, as well as becoming a forefront leader with respect to how we look at environment, how we look at growth and development, also how we look at societal and environmental justice. Commerce City is uniquely situated both geographically, but also demographically in society because of where we are in the front range. When I think about us as a city, we are located next to one of the busiest airports in fly debt. We are also at the confluence of the major highways that connect you to three to four other states that allows for us to leverage and to be able to grab hold of some of those asset classes, those sectors that we can be able to create the, that job uh, creation. In order to serve our community well, we do need to reflect the people that we serve. And as a, an example, it's important for our leadership to also reflect the community. We have 42% of our leadership team is either women or people of color. And that's an important statistic for us because the diversity of thought, the diversity of ideas are incredibly important when we're looking to serve the people that in our community that really expect that we understand them, that we recognize them, and that we hear their voices. As the greatest example, the City of Commerce City, in collaboration with Cultivando, have uh, created uh, the Latino Engagement Task Force. This initiative has been um, happening since 2017, and this is a process of community members, city staff, and Cultivando get together on, on during monthly meetings in a process of six to nine months. And the mission of this collaboration is to better inform um, the city how to work with the Latino community. Um, we have had um, a successful process and th this year actually will be our fifth LET group with 25 participants. Focusing on equity and inclusion in an organization is a never ending process. There is no finish line. We wanna make sure that um, we take an equitable stance on everything that we do. So recognizing that not everyone needs the same level of assistance to get to the same point. The city is committed to keep working with the Latino population by providing uh, interpretation, accessibility to translation and any service or community meetings that they have, hiring bilingual uh, personnel as well. The economic benefits of urban renewal are measurable, but the value and the benefits of them really can't be measured. Right, when you're thinking of urban renewal, you're thinking about improving the appearance, improving the safety, improving the quality of life, and other things that quite frankly, you can't put a price tag on. Um, when you think about attracting development in those areas, there is an investment by the city, there is an investment by private developers, but the outcome of those investments can't be measured on a balance sheet. They have to be measured in the desirability of a location, the desirability for new economic uses to come into those areas, the desirability for existing residents to stay there, and the desirability for new residents relocating to this area of Colorado to want to live and to want to be part of that. If you do not have the community that we're a part of to be able to support you, then you're just another run-of-the-mill business in some random place. And we wanted that, and that's why we chose Commerce City, and really, Commerce City chose us. Oh, this is great. Uh, we're, we're very excited, excited to be in Commerce City. A very good um, solution for our expansion needs. It still gives us access to the Denver metro area, easy access to highways north, south, east, and west. And on a clear day, the view of the mountains is amazing. One of the things that I'd really like for the community at large to know about Commerce City is that Commerce City is in an upward trajectory. Commerce City has several opportunities in front of us to make us a better destination in Denver, to improve the quality of life for our residents, to improve the investability of our projects, of our developed land and undeveloped land, of properties within the city that are to be annexed into the city. It really are our location our ability to navigate complex development situations. You know, not many communities have been presented with the sort of complex projects that Commerce City has, and not many communities can stand here and say, we were presented with that problem, we figured out a strategy for that problem, and we executed it well to bring a project to fruition for the community. We have a tagline here at Commerce City. It's called a quality community for a lifetime. But there's so much more than just that tagline. It means engagement, it means collaboration, 
it means being able to be informed, to be led by our community. So we have a significant interest in making sure that we're bringing different partners, both from our residential neighborhood communities, our development community, our business community, our nonprofits, those who provide additional services so that we can define what it means to be a holistic community that is able to provide that environmental, that societal, and that daily living needs that are able for someone to be proud of where they live, the somewhere they call home, wanting to come to Commerce City to be an employee, to be a, vi be a visitor. So when we think about what type of community what we wanna be, we wanna be an ever-evolving, an ever-changing, but a progressive thinking and innovative community that continues to put our community first.